Did you know that fruit smoothies can raise insulin four times faster than whole fruit? Now that's a bit of a head scratcher, isn't it? Fruit smoothies, those delicious, healthy, and refreshing drinks we've all come to love, and whole fruits, nature's sweet treats, both are renowned for their numerous health benefits. They're packed with essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber, all crucial for a well-balanced diet and optimal health. But let's pause for a moment and talk about insulin. Insulin, you see, is a hormone that plays a key role in our bodies. It regulates our blood sugar levels by allowing cells to take in sugar from the bloodstream. Now here's the twist. Fruit smoothies, despite their health benefits, can actually cause a faster insulin response than whole fruit. Yes, you heard that right. So, what's the science behind this surprising fact? Let's dive deeper. To understand why fruit smoothies cause a faster insulin response, we need to understand how our body digests fruit. Let's start with the basics. When we eat fruit, our body begins a complex process of digestion. The fruit travels down our esophagus into our stomach where it's broken down by stomach acids. Then it moves into our small intestine where enzymes continue to break it down to extract the nutrients. This includes sugars which are absorbed into our bloodstream causing our blood sugar levels to rise. Now let's bring fiber into the mix. Fruits are packed with fiber, a component that our body can't fully digest. Instead of being broken down like sugars, fiber travels mostly intact through our digestive system. But why does this matter? Well, fiber plays a crucial role in slowing down the digestion process. It acts as a sort of speed bump, preventing sugars from being absorbed too quickly into our bloodstream. This means that when we eat whole fruits, our blood sugar levels rise gradually leading to a slower and more controlled insulin response. However, when we blend fruit into a smoothie, we're essentially doing part of the digestion process for our bodies. The blending process breaks down the fiber in the fruit, removing that all-important speed bump. Without the fiber to slow things down, the sugars from the fruit are absorbed more quickly into our bloodstream. This leads to a rapid increase in blood sugar levels, and as a result, our bodies release insulin at a much faster rate. In simpler terms, imagine digestion as a marathon. When we eat whole fruits, it's like we're pacing ourselves, taking it slow and steady. But when we drink a fruit smoothie, it's like we're sprinting, rushing to the finish line. So now we know the science, but what does this mean for you as a smoothie lover? As a smoothie lover, you might be wondering if this faster insulin response is a bad thing. Let's unravel this together. A rapid insulin response isn't inherently detrimental. It's a natural process your body undergoes to manage the sugars you consume. However, when it's excessively swift or frequent, it can lead to potential issues like insulin resistance or increased hunger. So how can you enjoy your beloved smoothies without fretting over insulin spikes? The answer lies in balance. The addition of more fiber and protein to your smoothies can help slow down this insulin response. Consider tossing in a handful of spinach for extra fiber or a scoop of your favorite protein powder. These additions not only enrich your smoothie's nutritional profile but also regulate your body's sugar processing, making for a healthier indulgence. So next time you enjoy a fruit smoothie, remember, it's not just about taste. It's about how your body processes it too.